I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? There's gotta be a running joke with him. I have the evidence I need to prove that Lucas is innocent. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't say. There she is! Kill her! Stab her right now, right in the chest! No sign of her heart out. Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? Go on, Cassie, tell them. Tell us what, Cass? It sounds like Jesse's trying to make you think that I'm the White Pumpkin. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're gonna have to do better than that. Look at the facts. <clears throat> we caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. We've got plenty of evidence. making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Cassie Rose was already in the room. No one else there. And Torque Dog's picture was somehow crossed Th out. Uh -huh. I prove anything. Lucas is still way guiltier looking. Well, what about what <clears throat> came next? When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre exed out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. That's right! <gasps> Ooh, that's good. <laughs> great, Jesse. Now go in for the kill. Metaphorically. But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like Winslow. No! An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Ha! Huh. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Ha <laughs> Slow clap! Well, I guess that's it then. <clears throat> you caught me. I am the murderer. Aha! Uh -huh. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. But Cassie, I still don't understand why a portal key. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years. Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is, until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you. So I tried my best to earn your friendship, figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! You really think that's an excuse? You're pathetic, Cassie. It doesn't excuse all the horrible things you've done. Spoken just like a person who has no idea what it feels like to be stuck somewhere you don't belong. We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 no. Yes! Don't let you do that! I can't! No! This is your fault! You did this to me! Stop! I'll fight all of you! Each and every one of you! What the hell? Another trap! We need to dig her out! After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this! Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be too late! It was too late! Wait! Look! I can't believe it. She's gone. What a oh, way well. to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. Killed herself. Wow. The trap were taken out by one of her own traps. That's ironic. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. <clears throat> hey, it's morning. And 
There go the zombies. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. From the ashes. I guess this is it. And so they escape. Oh, I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is... Yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't mean to depress anyone. I just can't stop thinking about them. I tried my hardest, but there was nothing I could do. Oh, we nothing all know you could that, do. Cassie. It's not your fault. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Right there. Hey, what do you know? There it is. Uh. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from me? <laughs> it was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. And so, the drama continues. Fascinating. <laughs> hey, that's cool. Guys, you can share it. You make, like, your own Order of the Stone. Yeah, all right. I guess I can live with that. Yes, that's a wonderful idea. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just going to start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. What a strange, wow. strange bunch of individuals. You can say that again, Ivor. You can fucking say that again. <laughs> Cassie, what's her name? I was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds. It all adds up, I guess. I know. Oh, wow. I think you could be right. It totally makes sense. If it's true. I sort of thought old builders would be taller. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? So they call humans old builders in this world. All right, on to the next world. Two more episodes to huh? go. What the? Didn't work? That's weird. Uh oh, Winslow? That's I thought. Oh! What the hell? Another trap. <laughs> it wasn't Cassie. It was Winslow. Winslow was the killer. <laughs> what happened? I can't see a thing. I told you. Well, that's ominous. Do you hear that? Ooh. Endermites! And there it is, Jesse! You're trapped! Stop! Oh my god! <laughs> Just like I've been in this rotten world! Oh, please. I've gotten out of way worse than this, Cassie. Huh. I admire your bravado. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their uh, teeth are. Pretty oh, cool twist. I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. Uh, tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel and I'll let you go free. Okay, you're right. You win. We'll give you the flint and steel. But let us out first. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that one. Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. 
It'll be the best fishing trip ever! <gasps> Winslow, my pet, activate the trap! <laughs> Want something done right, you can prepare for your death! <laughs> nice! Jesse! Come on, Winslow. <laughs> of course I won't stay behind to see you die! In typical villain fashion. Stupid door? Oh, it's no use! Without a lever, or button will never get these iron doors open. You have a Just lever. Hold on, guys, I'm gonna get up to the control panel. You are, you had a lever. Oh, Whoa. that is disorienting. Uh, ah, Clevo! Uh, uh, just started going faster. Uh, she booby trapped her booby traps? That is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Trying to get leverage? Whoa! Give me the key, Jesse. Guys, no! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. Got it. Okay, you guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. So dramatic. You're not a fast learner, are you? I grew tired of this game, Jesse. The key. You didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No. Uh. <laughs> no, we are going home. No! You can't do this! I'm waiting too long! Put it down! Mine! Cassie, I won't let you have it! Break him spine! Snap her! Uh-oh. No! No, no, Winslow! Don't touch that! Uh... No, 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 Winslow! Bad kitty, stop it! Winslow! Good boy, sweet kitty! Bring that to Master! Please, bring it to Master! Here, kitty, kitty! Here, kitty, kitty! Oh. No! Like you didn't know that would happen. No! I think you should give that back, Cassie. No, I'm afraid not. Another trap. So epic. I'll give you one thing. You are incredibly tenacious. <laughs> That's never act, Jesse. It stays on fire forever. Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home! <laughs> Come on, Another Winslow! Another portal? Uh. Winslow! Winslow, come on! Oh, I love it. You know I love you, but you look very tired sometimes. Hey! Hey, White Pumpkin! Yes, Jesse? Just wanted to get your attention. I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm bored with it. No! <laughs> <laughs> What's going? Ah, I've got it. No. Excellent. I did it. You're all dying now. Uh, no, thank you. Got it. <laughs> no! Cassie YouTuber is a fucking huge bitch. <laughs> I'll never watch her videos again. Jesse, oh, wait a minute. I bet you're real. Never would have anyway. Yourself. Look at me. Stuck again. Out of Enderpearls. 
And that's where she wanted us to end up. Trapped. In my own trap. <laughs> of course. Of course. Well, at least you're still alive. That's more than Torque Dog or Captain Sparkles or Lizzie can say. You're right. Of course you're right. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best... My only friend. Please. Here, kitty. Here, you pain in the butt, kitty. Ah, there you are, Winslow. Who loves you? I'll throw him right into the Endermites. Right to the Endermites. Oh, there you are. Oh, there you are. Come on. You and me are together forever, just like it was always meant to be. Trapped together. Oh, to laugh. Forever. Oh, to laugh. Is the cat got eaten just alive right in front of her? Little Winslow. Wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. <clears throat> all right. Good sign so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. That's right. We all die together. Because we're stupid like that. Ready? One, <clears throat> two, two, three. Adventure! Oh, Paul Rubens. Elementary, my dear Jesse. All right, next time on Minecraft Story Mode. It certainly seems like all these episodes are going to be completely different one-off mini-movies. All right, <clears throat> what's going on, dudes? It's oh, me, no. Sparkles. Next time on Minecraft Story You're dead! Mode. Fuck you! After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom! I've suddenly become part of the floor. Uh, could you leave so we can see the I next mean, episode? Dude, you saw that, right? How much <clears throat> worse can it get? First, they choose not to invite me on their adventure. Oh, uh, the my God. You know, I'm part of the floor. Shut up. You were good anyway, until now. One thing's for certain. Even without me, this is going to be an amazing adventure. Especially without you. Get the fuck out of here. Can we see scenes from the next episode now? Or do we have to see you again? Pain in my ass. No! Wow. No actual... Wow, no preview of the next episode whatsoever. They didn't bother. <clears throat> hmm. So, only... Wow, I was in the huge minority not telling Captain Sparkles about the Flint and Seal, probably because everyone who played this is a fanboy of his and told him about it. <laughs> I said no. Everything else I was in the majority. We're not going to get a preview? That's lame, dude. We're not going to get any preview of the next episode. <clears throat> I almost get the feeling that they don't even know what it is. Seriously. I get the feeling they don't know what the next episode's going to be. <clears throat> well, let's see what the name of the next episode is. Access Denied. Okay, so Portal to Mystery made sense. It was a mystery. Access denied. Now, obviously, you wouldn't have Petra and Ivor being evil. Maybe in this dimension there's evil clones or something. And so the evil clones <clears throat> impersonate them and they, they mistreat you or something. I don't know. That's what it seems like, right? And then the final one. A journey's end. All right, well, that is it. For my Minecraft Story Mode Episode 6 playthrough, I got mixed feelings about it. First of all, it really didn't seem like the choices I made in previous episodes affected it at all. The only difference was that we were wearing different armor, which didn't really affect anything at all. It was just the physical appearance. So that was good. But because my game save got deleted, uh, I still was able to play the game normally and there was no change in anything. It just proves that in Telltale Games, the choices don't really make any kind of a significant impact. I liked the mystery. I liked that, okay? Even the integration of the YouTubers wasn't so bad. They didn't make it so bad that it was all about them. So that was good. And I actually do like that every episode seems to be a completely one-off kind of a mini-movie. Remember last time it was Sky City's mini-movie, and now this time it was a mystery of who is the killer, who done it. That was kind of nice. 
I don't know what they're going to do for the last two episodes. It kind of sucks I can't get them at a discounted rate. i got to pay $5 a pop to get episodes 7 and 8. But you know what? Overall, I did enjoy this episode. Even though I made a lot of jokes about these Minecraft YouTubers, understand? I was just joking. I was being mean for the sake of comedy. I didn't mean anything about it. Obviously, many YouTubers outside of me do this for a living. And you got to respect what they do. If they're able to do what they do and make a living and putting a lot of work into it, uh, it you know... Good on them. Well on them, right? So, uh, alright, so that is it for Minecraft Story Mode, Episode 6. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. I have absolutely no idea when Episode 7 is going to come out, but I'll be checking it out if and when it does come out, and if it is during a time period when I can play it new, I'll do it. In this case, I just couldn't do 6 when it was a new release because I was busy, but I'll definitely be checking out 7, alright? That's it, everyone. Thanks for watching. Peace out.